Okay, guys, so let's review for our quiz for tomorrow. Just one step equation. So, like one step, and we've, we've done solving them. So, looking at the first two questions, we're going to solve them by adding or subtracting. And then on those, I always separate them through the equal sign. I'm looking at the side where the letter is. That negative 18, it is by itself. So, I'm going to move it to the other side. But make sure you do switch the sign. So, if it was negative 18 at the right, I'm going to write it as a positive 18 at the left. Right? We switch the sign. Right? Because it's by itself, I can easily move it away. Now here, on the left side, negative 8, positive 18, that's 10. And when the signs are different, you subtract, keep the sign of the large one. So I know that's 10. On the right side, I have R. So that means that R is equal to 10. If I look at question number 2, that negative 11 is by itself. Right, I'm trying to have the letter by itself. So the negative 11, I can move it to the other side. Once again, don't forget to switch the sign. So x is equal to, once again, signs are different. Subtract, keep the sign of the large one. I'm going to call this negative 3. If we call one step because it's just one step and we're done. Let me skip a few. Let me take a look at number 11. take a look at number 11, separate into the equal sign, the 15 is not by itself now, so I cannot just move it, right? it is with the x, so what I'm looking at here it is, a fraction is division, so the opposite of division, let me multiply both sides by 15, because 15 divided by 15, that's how this thing cancels out, right? 15 divided by 15 is 1x, now here, 15 times 8 is going to be 120. So x is equal to 120. Looking at question number 12, separate into the equal sign, the negative 19 is not by itself, and this is not division, right? Two things put together is times. So in this case, let me divide by negative 19. So that way that cancels out. Negative 76 divided by negative 19. The signs are the same, so in multiplication or division, that gives me a positive. 76 divided by 19 is 4, so x is equal to 4. So um, questions 1 and 2, we did it by adding or subtracting. Questions 11 and 12 is either multiplication or division, right? the opposite. The questions in there are all mixed. So the first, what is it, 20? The first 20 is either add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Any questions on the first 20? Five. All right, let's take a look at number five. Let me separate them to the equal sign. The six is not by itself. That it's together, so that means times. The opposite of times, let me divide. I'm going to divide by six. So six divided by six is 1b. Negative 120 divided by six is negative 20. Remember, in multiplication or division, if the signs are different, then it's negative. Right. Any other questions for the first 20? All right. Now, let me take a look at number 21. I'll put two questions at the time. Nor shall I spend $8 on four candy bars. So she had four candy bars, and this thing was $8. How much did each candy bar cost? We're going to divide each by four, right? Because this is time, so the opposite of times is divide. Eight divided by four is, is two. Now looking at number 22, 13 years ago, Elisa was 47 years old. So if I'm thinking of Elisa, because this is how old is she now? I'm going to say she is E many years, because I don't know. So I'm going to use E for Elisa. 13 years ago, that means minus 13. Right? She is E right now, minus 13. It was 47. So the way I'm going to solve for this, separating through the equal sign, my minus 13 
is by itself, so I'm going to move it to the other side as a plus 13. So E is equal to 6, right? 47 plus 13 is 60. So she's 60 years old. And yet 13 years ago, she was 47. So questions 21 through 30, you will have to uh, set it up and then obviously work it. Some of these questions are simple, like number 21. That one probably you guys can do in your head. Some questions you guys can do in your head. For this week, it's okay because it's only one set. I'm going to say the next few weeks is not going to be that simple. Like it's going to get a little harder. We call this one step. Next week, we're moving to what we call two steps. We finish the quarter. The fourth quarter, we're going to start with what we call multi-step. It's going to take me like more than, than two steps. It'll be three, four steps to solve it. So that's what we call it multi-step. So we'll look at equations for a few weeks. Now, any questions for today? Okay. 25. Recipe for cookies calls for 10 cups of sugar. Kayla has already uh, put in four cups. How many more cups does she need to put in? So she has four cups in there, plus M for how many more? I don't know how many she needs. It's gonna, it should be a total of 10. So we, now we have to solve for M. My positive four, let me move it to the other side as a negative four. So M is equal to six. The letter, use any letter you want. I'm, I'm just doing one that kind of makes sense to what I was reading. She needs four more. Or in this case, she needs six more. But use any letter you want. On the quiz tomorrow, you will have some questions that are just numbers and letters, kind of like the first 20. But you guys will also have word problems. Any questions? Let me take one more step.